Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the animal classification. You have seen some animals before, right? But have you ever thought about what makes them animals? So let's dive in and find out. If we want to talk about numbers, well, there are at least 5 million species on our planet. Now, a species is a group of animals that are more like each other than any other group of animals. They can mate with each other but not with members of another species. Like for example, monkeys can only make babies with another monkey but not with the dolphins, otherwise that would be crazy. If we group animals, there are two largest groups of animals, the vertebrates and invertebrates. Now for a fun fact about animals, did you know that cows do have best friends? And they become stressed if they are separated. Mm -hmm. So what are the characteristics of vertebrate animals? Vertebrates are animals with a spinal column or a backbone and an elaborate skeletal structure. You can notice backbones when you touch a cat in its back, that long hard bone. We have it too if you touch yours because we humans are also animals. Yes, we are animals but we're the most intelligent and we're also vertebrates. All vertebrates also have an in the skeleton which consists of the bones that are inside a body which gives them their shape and allows them to stand erect. All vertebrates also have some of the systems, the muscular, skeletal, excretory, immune, and nervous system. They could also have skin covered with scales, fur, hair, or feathers. We could talk about these systems in another topic so keep watching all our videos. Fun fact learners, speaking of hairy animals, sheep could grow their hair or their wool too much that if you leave them without a haircut, they become blind from too much wool and become a bowl of wool. Now let's classify vertebrates into 5 classes. Number 1. First are the fishes. They are cold-blooded animals, meaning these animals cannot control their body temperature. They have gills to breathe under water and fins for movement. Some of them are goldfishes, see horses and sharks. Second type are the amphibians. These are the frogs and salamanders. They are also cold-blooded animals. Now what's amazing is that they can live both on land and in water. They breathe through both lungs and moist skin. And they reproduce only in water by laying lots of eggs. Next class are the reptiles. These are the lizards and snakes. They are also cold-blooded animals. They live on land, but some snakes swim and hunt for food underwater, so beware because some of them are venomous. They have dry and scaly skin. They lay eggs like chickens, and what's amazing is that they guard it until it hatches without eating. Turtles and crocodiles are also reptiles. Fun fact learners, did you know that some snakes have heat vision? That means they can see using the warmth of things. That's what they use to hunt warm spray like the rats. Cool. Next are the avis. These are the birds. They are warm-blooded animals. Their body is covered with feathers. They lay eggs. They have a full set of organs that could be heavy. So how could they fly so high? The answer lies in their bones they have hollow bones that's why they are so light did you know that ostriches are the biggest of the birds sadly they couldn't fly since they're so big but they're one of the fastest runners on land and that's amazing and lastly the mammals they are the animals with mammary glands and that's us we humans are mammals they are warm-blooded animals they give birth to babies and they produce milk using their mammary glands most mammals are furry, like the pet dogs and cats we have at home. Now, how about the invertebrates? What are they? Invertebrates are animals without a spine. They are multicellular, which means they are composed with multiple cells, and all the cells are assigned to different tasks. Almost all invertebrates live underwater or in the ocean. Now, what are some kinds of invertebrates? First, the sponge or the peripherans they are the ones that look like sponge how cool is that you don't notice them move their body is covered with pores through which their food enters fun fact 
sponge are master filters. They can filter an amount of water 100,000 times their size each day. That means a basketball sized sponge could filter an entire pool in one day. Yup, clean. Next are the Cnidarians. Some examples of Cnidarians are the Hydra and Jellyfish. Next is Platyhelminthes or the flatworms. What's nasty about them is that most of them are parasites. That means they live inside another animal and eat what's inside of them. Yikes. Some examples are the tapeworms and liver flock. Another type is the nematelminthes or round worms. Most of them are parasites and reproduce sexually by laying eggs. There are some actual good worms like the annelids. Or like the earthworms, they fertilize the dirt for the plants. Some other examples are the leeches. Well, leeches suck your blood when you don't notice, so be careful in ponds. Next are the arthropods. These are the animals with jointed legs. Some examples are the ants, honeybee, scorpions, and spiders. Be careful of their stings. Mollocks, they are soft-bodied shielded animals. They have a soft and segmented body with an external hard shell. Some examples are the squids, snails, and octopuses. Fun fact learners, did you know that some snails can be eaten? In fact, they are a delicacy in French cuisine called the escargot. And lastly, the echinoderms, the spiny skinned animals. They have spines all over the body. Starfishes and sea urchins are echinoderms. They may live underwater but they sting too, so beware. So learners, those are the animal classifications of the animals. Let's talk about them more in the next topic, so stay tuned. This is all for now. I hope you learned something today. This is Easy Engineering.